This year has been strange for everyone. It's been an emotional roller coaster and everyone has been affected in some way. The loss of normal life that we took for granted has taken its toll in our mental health and well-being. Families and friendships have had to endure separation and loneliness, many have lost their loved ones and we have felt frightened and powerless in the battle against this virus. But amongst all of the turmoil, we made the decision to be kind and support each other. Through the pandemic, we have seen schools and settings go above and beyond to make a difference. Children and young people have reached out into their community to support and befriend when people needed it most. To quote Maya Angelou, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. To every child, young person, school, setting and community group who looked out for the well-being of others, this video is for you. With a heartfelt thanks, you were kind when the world needed it most. Friday as I heard about something happened on TikTok with a man um, committing suicide and I thought something had to be done. And now the sad thing is that he didn't probably get to talk to anyone. I wanted to do something because he never got to speak to someone. I um, thought he maybe, he maybe got fired, maybe financial things have been going on in his life. He maybe lost a family member. So I think to prevent that from happening, I want people to speak, about, speak up about their mental health and um, not be afraid, and I want people to know they're not alone. We did a Feel Good Friday, what me and my dad came up with. Um, and it came, it came out so great. We had a non-uniform day and brought in one pound. Um, yeah, it was, it was really good. Well, me, well, me and my dad was talking about um, what we could do, and we thought about like if the COVID restrictions um, ease, we could have maybe a summer fair, something for Halloween, get more charities involved. Um, papyrus, mind, and more schools to get involved as well, so it can spread the word. Me and my family um, have made this f um, random act of kindness box uh, f for every month of the year, and we put random na random names in the box, and every month we pick a name, and we do random acts of kindness to that one person for every month, but. Um, you don't have to do it for that one person, you could do it for everyone. And, and everyone deserves at least um, a random act of kindness, like holding open a door, smiling at someone, or, saying, or greeting them, or giving someone a compliment. It was so nice that he completely came up with the idea himself, and he, he'd written, do you remember you wrote that piece and he came yeah. and read it to me, and said, can we do something about this? And like we couldn't say no to it because it was amazing. and beyond at supporting us as a family during the pandemic. They've been so dedicated to keeping a connection with us and encouraging us to do the same, particularly through Tapestry, where they've shared ideas for activities and ways to encourage learning at home. Their focus on wellbeing and encouraging the children to talk about how they're feeling is so important and was really reassuring when our little boy went back to nursery after the first lockdown, which was such a daunting time. They're just so excellent at what they do. I can't praise them enough. Stop so gonna get on the ride Twisting and turning through life No matter how rough it gets I'll get by Home moves with me where I roam
It's in every dream I make my own I'm never alone I know that every day will always bring me something new because I couldn't see my family or my friends. I felt bored and really sad. I was sad because I missed my friends and the school. And in lockdown, I felt it felt really depressing and sad because I couldn't see my friends or uh, focus properly. Sad because I couldn't go out. Yeah. When I was in lockdown, I felt lonely because I couldn't see anyone and it was also really hard to work. I was sad because I didn't get to see my friends. The things I missed about my school were my friends. My friends. My friends in the English lessons. Doing fun things. Having all the nice teachers around. Welcome to our happy school! Here at West Rin, we're proud to show you how our relationship's first approach to recovery is truly going above and beyond. When I was told I could go back to school, I felt happy and overwhelmed. I felt happy and joyful. I was excited so much and filled with joy. Extremely happy. Overjoyed. Excited to be back. I wanted to play outside because I'd been inside too much. My school, my planet. Taking part in the my school my planet project was fun because i liked working with my friends i felt happy and relaxed being outside i felt great and it made me love school oh, more every day school is getting better as a part of the school again it made me happy and I felt more confident. My mother is the lady of the house. Is she a capulet? Oh, plague above your houses! And it was like a movie because we did it in scene. It made me feel like I was included and I didn't feel as much overwhelmed. It was the best feeling to take part in something I thought I would never do. During summer 2020, a group of students worked with Greenfield Arts and filmmaker Laura Degnan to explore their recent experiences. 
they notice the learning and discoveries that have taken place through a series of creative activities. This film includes some of the creative activities the students worked on together and created. It's important to reflect and to notice things we can learn from and take forward. We think that everyone in our school community is a superhero. We have all had to learn to adapt over the past year and we have all done an amazing job. We would like to say a big thank you to all the boys and girls who are learning at home or in our school of all of the parents and carers for supporting with learning at home and every member of staff in school. We are all the superheroes of St Helens along with all the other people. If I had a thousand songs I would sing with everyone Voices like a mountain song Sing you are my only one Oh my, oh my, oh my days Life is wonderful Life is wonderful Harvest Hearts were our effort to spread kindness messages to the community. We wrote out hearts and wrote a message for our good cause. In year 5 and 6 we sent our Harvest Hearts to the Saul and Connor Fawcett Cancer Trust. It was our way of spreading kindness um, during the lockdown without people coming into the school. It felt really good because our school does a lot with the community and it made us feel good to know that we are still able to help others during the lockdown. In our classroom, we read a short story about tell me trees and then made our own tell me tree to place our thoughts. It is important to talk about how, how you are feeling rather than bottle things up. If you share your worries, then someone can help. Even writing things down can sometimes help get the thoughts out of your head and that might make you feel a little bit better. The tell me trees give you a chance to write things down and then adults in school and your friends can help. I mean, in particular, the, the scene of all of the bears sitting in the assembly hall, I think was just so well received mm. by all of us parents and the children alike. So it's just been lovely because the school really is at the heart of our community. Kath Thompson is acting head teacher at the school. She joins me now. Kath, thank you very much for speaking to us on BBC Radio Newcastle. Morning. Um, so we are always thinking of ways that we can connect with our children while they're at home. We obviously miss them all. And um, we've got a lovely caring staff and they're always thinking of ideas and sending them to us. Um, and one of our parent governors sent an idea with, um, around teddy bears. We decided to buy every child in school, sort of all 400 of them, um, a teddy bear. Um, just something comforting for them. This is a really hard time for children. Um, we wanted them to know that we care about them and that we're thinking about them and for them to sort of feel more connected and more secure. The 
played a big part in our live lessons since the children got them. We've had lots of photos and the children have been sending us of the fairs doing baking with them and art and yoga and gymnastics and it is just so lovely. I think because they've all got a bear each, they're all the same and they can all feel part of something. So it's just been a really positive thing for the whole community. I just think it's a, just just so it's something that I identify with because undoubtedly they're missing their friends and mm. um, there's only a portion of them in school and some of them at home and it's really challenging. I think anything just that is lighthearted and something to embrace and, and support the children is really important at this time. Um, you know, most of them are very resilient but we, we don't really know what the effects are going to be. Well, hopefully when we look back on this time, it will be for a more different positive reason rather than thinking about you know, the negatives of this time, it'll be, oh, I remember that time, that's when I got the teddy, yeah. and it'll be something for them to sort of hang that on to, rather than thinking, oh, that's the time when I, you know, go out of the house and it was scary, and... Mm -hmm. You do doing Parent Governor Sarah Lee before that, Kath, Kath Thompson, um, from that school in Burnerfield. So, any ideas like that, share them with us. We're loving these on BBC Radio Newcastle. So our last wow day was based around Educate and Celebrate. We've just gained the award for Educate and Celebrate. And we chose the theme of Elmer the Elephant to celebrate difference and diversity. Each corridor had a large uh, papier mache elephant that they had to choose a theme for. And they de uh, decorated the elephant. And come the wow day, every class had also been allocated a smaller elephant with a colour from the pride flag and they used a range of sensory media to decorate their elephant. These were all hidden around school on the day and Bubbles were able to go around on an elephant hunt. The Bubbles took it in turns to do the elephant hunt and find the elephants around school and we actually left the elephants up for a number of weeks because the children were really enjoying spotting them all around the building. So we videoed all of the elephants on the hunt with some music so that children who were at home could, could engage with that and see the elephants hidden around school and of course they were still in the building um, when they returned to school. You got the heart that is bigger than the sun You got the smile that is wider than the fun Whatever you imagine will come true Whatever you wish upon a star will do And there is only one thing you should really love It is your heart when it sings up above Hey you over there It's time to get up and make the world shine It's time to get back to feeling so fine You can dance or sing or you can sing you got to find the voice that was lost You got to find the sparkle in the frost You got to find the passion in the must You got to find the light in the dust You are beautiful and magical and wonderful You can fly with a smiling heart You are fabulous, incredible, amazing And this is where your story will start There is something over the rainbow, can you see it? There is something over the rainbow, can you see it? It's you, it's you, it's you. You are over the rainbow, you are over the rainbow. You are over the rainbow, you are over the rainbow. Over the rainbow. There's a magic land waiting for you. There's a magic land waiting for you. Ja sinu süda saab tantsida. Ja sinu hälekke laulda. Ja sinu süda saab tantsida. Ja sinu hälekke laulda. Ja sinu süda saab tantsida. Yes, you know, Sutta Sapta and Sita. Yes, you know, Sutta Sapta and Sita.